Oslo, the capital of Norway and the place I get to call home. Oslo is a beautiful city and it has a very high standard of living. But there are some downsides and one of them is this. You see this queue here? This is the queue to buy alcohol. The government controls all alcohol purchases and you have to go to a special, what's called wine monopoly, to be able to buy beer and alcohol over 4.7%. So it's minus uh, 12 right now and people are queuing up outside probably for about 20 minutes to get inside and to be able to buy a bottle of wine for tonight. And the time right now is 25 past two and it closes in one hour and 35 minutes. That's right, closes at four. So imagine if you forgot your ID. And during the week, it closes at 6 p.m. And on Sundays, it's closed altogether. Don't ask me why. I think it's something to do with Jesus. You shall not buy alcohol on a Sunday. And over Easter holidays, well, good luck. So we're gonna pop in to the Bin Monopoly. This is a really strict about filming in there. They can get a little bit anal about it. So we'll see what happens, but I just wanna show you some of the prices. So the first bottle I see as I walk in there is over a hundred euros. <gasps> but whoa, 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 that wasn't a good example. In general, a reasonable bottle of wine is around 20 euros. You can get it cheaper, but then you run the risk that it's gonna be absolutely terrible. So famous European beers are roughly double the price of what you'd pay probably in most European countries. Hooray! 380 for a Peroni. Mm. Nope. This is one of my favorites. This is an Argi IPA, IPA. It's a Norwegian beer. It's from uh, Flam, which is a small little village in the Norwegian mountains well. It's by a fjord, beautiful fjord. Really nice beer. Uh, just a small can though, so this is 0 0.33 of a litre. And this was four euros 50 for one beer, four euros 50, okay. So in the supermarket, you can buy beer, which is 4.7 or less percentage of alcohol. And you can find like, you know, crappy beer for probably around two euros 50 for a can. Yeah, baby, yeah. But for a beer with flavor, you're talking four to five euros. When you arrive in Norway, no one's gonna give you this information, so take note. Yippee! And if you wanna buy a nice beer in a bar, then you're talking around 10 euros, maybe more. So last year I cycled all over Norway and people asked me what was the hardest part about doing it? Was it them big climbs over the mountains or them scary tunnels? And the answer is quite simply this. I also really love a beer tonight but once again the beers stop serving after 8 o'clock. I mean picture the scene. You're, you've just cycled 140 kilometers. It's been a beautiful day. It's been an incredible ride. You've seen gorgeous scenery and you're 10 kilometers away from the nearest town and it's quarter to eight in the evening. You know you're not gonna get there in time to be able to buy a nice ice cold beer and to celebrate that day. And it's just devastational, my friend. Absolutely devastational. No. No. And worst of all, when you've been in Norway for a while, like myself, you kind of, uh, you just accept it and you just make out that it's no big deal. I have had a great day, so we're going without a beer. It's been a great day, it doesn't matter. It's like you're a housewife that gets abused by her husband, okay? And you just end up making out that it's no big deal. It's like, well, you know, if I didn't aggravate him, he wouldn't hit me. It's, it's kind of my fault. I should have bought the beers early in the morning and put them in my bag and cycled 140 kilometers with them in my bag and then drank them warm after the ride. It's my fault. Although a beer would be nice. You see what Norway's done to me? 
If I was lucky, I'd get to a campsite and they would have some beers for sale there. Amazing. But the problem is, there's this little term in economics called scarcity. And anybody who sells alcohol in Norway understands that term. One can of beer, 100 kroners. Here you go. Keep the change. You filthy animal. We're going to have to 138 kilometers today. But it was so worth it. It sure as hell tastes great. There's also a hefty sugar tax as well, but that's a story for another day. Of course, high taxes on products which are not really good for you obviously have many benefits. For example, can reduce obesity in society. And that keeps the girls looking pretty damn. Hi, Matthew. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm very Swings and roundabouts. 